वेलकम टू ग्रोथ मार्ट कंसल्टिंग लिमिटेड एंड थैंक यू फॉर टेकिंग आउट टाइम टू वॉच दिस वीडियो वी आर एक्सट्रीमली प्लीज टू हैव यू विद अस the goal of this video is to tell you about our second two day seminar on efficient export marketing of spices how it will help you do necessary planning to succeed in exports build a solid export business slowly but surely from a very small capital base how to find out buyers that are most likely to buy from you and how to logically convince them that despite being a merchant exporter or despite being a new exporter you would be the right choice for them and how to get export orders even if you cannot afford to participate in trade shows and even if you are not able to get orders through buying agents this video is for merchant exporters of spices and new exporters of spices here are three issues of relevance to you that we shall be covering in this seminar number 1 how to do necessary planning to succeed in exports number 2 how to find out buyers that would be willing to buy from you and how to logically convince them that despite being a merchant exporter or despite being a new exporter you would be the right supplier for them and number 3 how to get export orders number 1 how to do necessary planning to succeed in exports spice board today has approximately 5000 exporters registered with it out of them bulk of exports is done by some 294 exporters another fact is that out of these 5000 exporters only 635 exporters are manufacturer exporters rest of them almost 4500 exporters are merchant exporters there is no information available about most of them most of them do not have a website do not have any digital presence and most of them as per spice board itself do not have a great future if you are one of these 4500 exporters the first thing that the seminar shall do for you is to show you how should you do necessary planning to succeed in exports how to do product planning how to decide what you should be exporting how to decide to which markets you should be exporting and how to work out some reasoning as to why someone should buy from you number 2 how to find out buyers that are most likely to buy from you and how to logically convince them that despite being a merchant exporter or despite being a new exporter you would be the right supplier for them why should someone buy from you why should someone buy from you when they have the choice of buying from very old and established firm who are 100 times even 1000 times bigger than you how should you go about finding those buyers that are most likely to buy from you and how to logically convince them 
that despite being what you are, you would be the right choice for them. Number three, how to get export orders. How to get export orders, even if you cannot afford to participate in trade shows and even if buying agents are not willing to even give you an appointment. How to craft meaningful sales messages that you can send through email and direct mail to buyers who are most likely to buy from you. How to prepare a good website at an extremely low cost that will impress your buyer and do selling for you. What to say on your website. How to use digital marketing tools such as Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and simple emails to get the business at almost zero cost or very low cost. My name is Ramesh Chand Agarwal. I am the CEO and founder of this boutique consulting firm Growth Mart Consulting Limited. The word boutique means small and specialized. It's a very small firm, as small as a needle. When compared to big consulting firms that are like swords. However, just like a needle does a specialized job and a sword cannot do what it does, we offer highly specialized services to a select group of clients, clients who, who can serve substantially better than bigger firms. I founded this in 1989 and our head office is at New Delhi. We do three things. Number one, we help people do efficient marketing, especially export marketing through training and through one-to-one -one consulting. Number two, we help people when they have an important and difficult communication need, an important and ultra complex communication need, a communication need in which stakes are very high, they cannot afford to take any chances and the skills required are high. Some services that we provide to clients like you are crafting sales messages, introductory letters of sales and email messages, preparing matter to be put on your website, preparing company profiles and brochures, and helping them communicate when they are talking to an important buyer through email, on telephone or in person. And number three, we help them achieve their business goals through our knowledge of competitive strategy. We have helped people like you by talking to them in real detail, listening to them, understanding their background and then suggesting them what products they should choose and how they should go about becoming a successful exporter with minimum expenses. Besides me, the seminar shall have Mr. K. Shamsuddin. Mr. Shamsuddin is head of FMCG division and corporate head projects and administration of Nest Group, a group with 11 companies and a total turnover of 1400 crores. Nest Group has an FMCG division that has interest in spices. Mr. K. Shamsuddin is an experienced professional having total experience of over 25 years. He is also Vice President of Cochin 
Special Economic Zone Industries Association. He shall be covering industry specific issues. He will be telling you how you can build meaningful advantages, meaningful quality standards that will appeal to your buyers without spending a lot of money or without requiring a lot of technical knowledge. Let me now come to what we shall be covering in this two day seminar. Basically, we shall be covering three things. One, how to save big money on export marketing. How to get export orders even if you cannot afford to participate in trade show and even if you are not getting appointment from buying agents. How to successfully build a solid export business slowly but surely from a very small capital base. Two, how to compete better. How to compete successfully with firms that are 10 times or 1000 times bigger than you. And three, how to Talk well with foreign buyers and their buying agent in a meaningful and powerful way. In a way that will maximize your chances of getting business. How to logically convince them that despite being a merchant exporter or despite being a new exporter, you would be the right choice for them. Let me now focus on the central theme of this event, Efficiency. How to save big money on export marketing through efficient marketing. How you can successfully grow a solid export business slowly but surely with very limited capital. The crucial question is, are there two ways to exports? One man for people with a truck load of money and the other for people with very small amount of money and the answer is yes. The crucial question is are there some secret techniques especially meant for people with a limited amount of money and the answer is yes. The central theme of the seminar will be to make you aware of these techniques. The first thing that we shall be doing in this seminar is to awaken you to the idea of efficiency. We will explain to you how most exporters waste a major portion of their budget and how it is possible to do export marketing on a very small budget. Because we believe that that is the first step that you need to take towards saving big money on marketing. That is to accept the possibility. To accept that it might be possible to do so. That there might be a substantially better way, a substantially more efficient way of doing things than the way in which you are doing them right now because if you keep doing what you have been doing you will keep getting what you have been getting. What is efficiency? What is efficient marketing? What is inefficient marketing? Let me begin with a real story. In early 1990 IBM faced a do or die situation to cut expenses heavily and increase sales or to wind up to reduce sales force from 30,000 to 6,000 and increase sales or to wind up. It was achieved. The impossible was achieved. 
through cutting down wastage drastically using database marketing. This is what we mean by efficiency. A fuel efficient car covers more distance for a unit of fuel because of technology. An energy efficient bulb gives more light for more time for a unit of electricity because of technology. An aircraft covers substantially more distance for a unit of time compared to a train because of technology. Using a bus, you can travel for more distance for a unit of money compared to your car because of the power of cooperation. Using a library, you can read more books for a unit of money compared to buying them from a bookshop because of the power of cooperation. And just like all this is possible, in export marketing, it is possible to spend a lot less and export a lot more using technology and science of marketing. So, what is efficiency? Simply stated, it is getting same output for much less resources or getting more output from same resources. Is it possible to do so? Yes, it is. Is it possible to get five times more output using same resources? Yes, it is. Have you heard this? I know that half the money, I repeat, half the money that I spend on advertising is wasted. I just don't know which half. This remark was made by a famous businessman almost 100 years ago. And it is true even today. The truth is most people waste a major portion of their marketing budget. The truth is even today most exporters, especially new exporters, waste a major portion of their budget. Most people do not have any idea as to what percentage of their budget is working and what percentage is going waste. Have you heard of 80-20 rule? Well, this is a rule that most successful people all over the world swear by. The rule basically says that majority of what we do is waste. Only a small portion of all that we do produces results. Here are a few examples. More than 80% wealth of India is concentrated in the hands of much less than 20% people. Just like this is true, research shows that more than 80% sales in most companies come from less than 20% customers. And for most people, more than 80% results come from less than 20% of the work they do. Our own experience of working with exporters for the last 25 years shows that most exporters waste a major portion of their budget. Most exporters spend a lot more money than they really need to and get much less business than they really can. And chances are more than 80% of the money that you are currently spending on export marketing is going waste. And if this is true, there is a huge potential of improvement of saving up to 80% of the money that you are spending. Imagine spending only rupees 20,000 on something on which you are right now spending 1 lakh.
is it possible it depends upon you if you think it is possible it is possible and if you believe strongly believe it is not possible then it is not possible how there is no magic involved there is no trick involved all that is involved is one pure sense of marketing two negotiation skills and three technology pure sense of marketing that helps you understand competition find out buyers who are most likely to buy from you prepare sales messages that will appeal to them and convince them and contacting them at zero cost or very low cost negotiation skills that will help you talk to them and convince them that you will be the right choice for them and technology that will help you in zero wasted marketing finding out people who are most likely to buy from you and then contacting them at zero cost or very low cost i hope you now have a clear idea as to what do we mean when we say we can help you do necessary planning to succeed in your course help you find out buyer for most likely to buy from you and help you get export orders at very low cost let me now come to the how part the how part shall consist of three big ideas or three major ideas number 1 doing the necessary homework number 2 understanding competition and succeeding despite of competition through intelligent planning and number 3 negotiating skills learning the art of talking with foreign buyers through email phone or in person in a way that will maximize your chances of getting business big idea number 1 or major idea number 1 doing the necessary homework efficiency requires solid homework i repeat solid homework it is like tight rope walking it is possible however you cannot just do it without any training it requires a lot of practice and then careful step by step approach traditional marketing is spray and pray marketing shooting a lot of arrows in the dark in the hope that a few will hit the target it is wasteful marketing efficient marketing involves cutting down on this wastage through careful planning it is the method of a sharp shooter one who takes careful aims and then shoots this preparation consists of five steps one written strategy two strategic planning three art of communication four using technology and five planning to benefit from trade shows even when you cannot afford to participate in them or cannot even visit them step 1 moving from a strategy in your head to a strategy in writing there is a ton of evidence to prove that a clear written strategy dramatically improves efficiency we shall begin with this step 2 
having a deep foundation of a strategic planning trying to do efficient marketing without having a deep foundation of a strategic planning that is without working out clear competitive advantages that is without working out some reasoning as to why someone should buy from you is like trying to build a tall building with a 10 feet deep foundation one it cannot be done two even if you somehow succeed in doing so it will fall efficiency like tight rope walking requires training and careful planning in this step we shall guide you to this building a deep foundation of strategic planning step 3 art of communication all marketing we repeat all marketing right from a simple introductory sales letter to most sophisticated tools of marketing fancy websites brochures advertisements fancy powerpoint presentations to foreign clients using google adwords linkedin twitter and blogging or anything else is in a sense communication it's an art crafting meaningful messages that make solid business sense to your customer is an art this is important for everyone however for you it is critical you need to logically convince your buyers as to why despite being a merchant exporter or despite being a new exporter you will be the right supplier for them the third step in the preparation process is to learn this art step 4 using technology when it comes to efficient marketing technology can be a real game changer once again technology is important for everyone but for you it can mean difference between failure and success it can help you do near zero cost international marketing in this part our aim shall be to give you fast practical help based on solid research we shall do this in two ways one we shall cover all critical techniques all essential techniques right there in the seminar and two we shall guide you to resources for still more efficient marketing step 5 how to benefit from trade shows without participating in them and without visiting them trade shows offer big marketing opportunities however most merchant exporters and most new exporters find them unaffordable in this step we will tell you how you can benefit from them even when you cannot participate in them or even visit them now we come to the second big idea the big idea that is most relevant to you how to compete successfully with firms that are 10 times or even 100 times bigger than you this part 2 shall have 5 steps 1. Why should you bother about it? How will you benefit by understanding competitive strategy? 2. Marketing warfare How to win marketing wars by taking a little help from real warfare techniques? 3. How to analyze how to literally x-ray your industry and its competitors. 4. Buyer selection strategy. And 5. 
competitors monitoring the art and science of monitoring competitors step 1 why why should you bother about competitive strategies how will you benefit by understanding it well let me ask you a question why should someone buy from you when there are literally hundreds even thousands of other suppliers available why should someone buy from you when there are hundreds of other suppliers who have much more experience than you, much better reputation than you, and much better facilities than you. Competitive strategy will provide you with answers to these questions. It will help you not only understand competition, but succeed despite of competition through intelligent planning. Step 2. Marketing Warfare How to win marketing wars by taking a little help from real warfare techniques. Businesses often compare to war. And if business is war, you can get a lot of help in winning this war by learning from war. In war and in business. The most fundamental rule is rule of jungle. The big fish eats the small fish. One who is more powerful wins. An elephant always kills a mouse. However, in war, many times a small force has defeated a big force. A mouse has killed an elephant. A small company has defeated a big company. The biggest example is Vietnam War. A tiny country like Vietnam defeated a military superpower like United States. Marketing warfare is the name given to strategies derived from real warfare to winning business wars. Remember, earlier in this video I said the crucial question is, are there two ways to exports? One meant for people with a truckload of money and another for people with very small money? And I said that the answer was yes. The crucial question is, are there some secret techniques, especially reserved for people with a small amount of money? And I said that the answer was yes. I was referring to these techniques. These techniques are critical for you. They can make difference between years of frustration and success. In this part, we shall discuss these techniques. Step 3. How to analyze. How to literally x-ray your industry and your competition. How will you benefit? It will help you not just to understand your competition, but succeed despite of competition through intelligent planning. Sun Tuju, the biggest philosopher in war, said, if you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the results of a hundred battles. If you know yourself but not the enemy, for every victory gain you will also suffer a defeat. And if you know neither the enemy nor yourself, you will lose in every battle. Step 4. Buyer Selection Strategy you can save big money on marketing by focusing on the buyers that are best fit for you. We have been working with exporters for last 25 years and in our experience, 
This is one of the biggest mistake that most new exporters and merchant exporters make. They go for the same buyers everyone else is going. They go for biggest buyers and they lose a tremendous amount of money. You can save a lot of time, money and frustration by first deciding upon buyers who shall be best fit for you and then focusing upon them. The truth is exporters like you should not look for large buyers at all. In this section we shall discuss the science of achieving this. Based upon a model developed by a Harvard Business School professor Michael E. Porter. Step 5. The Art and Science of Monitoring Your Competitors Once again, how will you benefit? Well, we have been comparing business to war and if business is war, can you do without having knowledge of enemy? Recall what Sun Tuju said, if you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the results of a hundred battles. If you know yourself but not the enemy, for every victory gain you will also suffer a defeat. And if you know neither the enemy nor yourself, you will lose in every battle. In this section, we shall discuss the science of competitors monitoring. How to monitor competitors in a systematic way. What do you do when an important buyer, a very important buyer, quotes a target price which is lower than even your cost of production? You simply keep repeating that the price they are asking is lower than what the product is costing you. And they keep saying, so what? We are getting the product at this price. You think we are telling lies and will come back and they don't. We will tell you what to do in this situation. How to talk with foreign buyers and their buying agents in an intelligent and powerful way. In a way that will maximize your chances of getting business. In this part we shall be covering two things. One, value chain analysis and two, the art and science of negotiation, the art and science of talking to foreign buyers and their agents in a way that will maximize your chances of getting business. Item 1. Value Chain Analysis What is Value Chain Analysis? Well, it's a tool developed by a Harvard business professor that will help you in two ways. One, it will help you when your discussions with foreign buyers reach a dead end. For instance, when an important buyer quotes a target price which is lower than even your cost of production. Two, it will help you in improving efficiency continuously so that you become more and more unattackable, especially by the bigger players. Item 2 High Stakes Business to Business Negotiations. If business is war, think of the art of negotiations as intellectual martial art, intellectual judo, kung fu and karate. We shall teach you essentials of high stakes business to business negotiations based on solid research including work of Harvard negotiation project. 
techniques that will help you talk to foreign buyers and their agents in a powerful and intelligent way, in a way that will maximize your chances of getting business. So, how are you going to benefit if you attend this seminar? Well, as I said, you will benefit in three ways. One, you will learn how should you do necessary planning to succeed in exports, how to save big money on export marketing, how to successfully build a solid export business slowly but surely from a very small capital base, how to get export orders even if you cannot afford to participate in trade shows and even if you are not getting appointments from buying agents. Two, you will learn how to compete better. More specifically, how to compete successfully with firms that are 10 times or 100 times bigger than you. Three, you will learn how to talk well with foreign buyers and their buying agents. How to talk to them in a way that will maximize your chances of getting business. How to logically convince them that despite being a merchant exporter or despite being a new exporter, you would be the right choice for them. The investment for this two days event is Rs. 12,500 per person. The event is at a 5 star facility and includes food. So, how are you going to benefit if you attend this seminar? Well, if you attend this seminar and follow this strategy, you shall be able to become a successful exporter. You shall be able to build a solid export business with a very small amount of capital. You shall be able to do necessary planning to succeed in exports. You shall be able to find out buyers who are most likely to buy from you and logically convince them that despite being a merchant exporter or despite being a new exporter, you would be the right choice for them. You shall be able to write meaningful and powerful sales letters. You will learn how you should go about preparing a website at a very low cost and what to say on it. And you will learn how to use modern tools of marketing such as Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter to do your marketing at extremely low cost. Imagine how good you will feel when you are able to do all this. Imagine how good you will feel when you become a highly successful exporter. Imagine how proud you will be of the decision of having attended this seminar and imagine what a new journey you will set yourself on. Register today. You will be glad you did. You will be able to become a successful exporter and you will be able to do so with a very small amount of money. You will be able to save a lot of money and a lot of losses. You will be able to do with Rs. 20,000 things on which you are right now spending Rs. 1 lakh. You will be able to spend a lot less and export a lot more. 
you will feel smarter and will be motivated to be more and more efficient. Modern business is knowledge based business. The more you know, the better you can perform. Register today. If you register by Friday, May 15th, you can save 20%. And if you join in a group, you can save more. If you join in a group and join before Friday, May 15th, you can save even more. The event is limited to maximum 25 participants. Register today. You will be glad you did. And finally, thank you for investing your precious time in watching this video. If you have any suggestions, kindly email them to us at growthmart at gmail.com.